Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to do a quick online review of a really cool product that I bought um, in the beginning of the summer 2015. It is the Saturn FK396 Fishing Kayak. And uh, don't normally do this type of uh, online review, but this product was so cool that I just felt that uh, I should do one. Uh, and show you some of the cool things that I did that you might be able to copy or you might want to copy to uh, make this one of the most versatile fishing craft you can imagine. First thing I want to say is that I almost didn't buy this boat because some of the uh, videos that I've seen of the boat online um, you'll notice like uh, when you watch some of these videos the paddle strokes, if the guy paddles on the right the, the, the bow of the boat wants to just shoot to the left and uh, back and forth and it I just when I bought the boat I expected that eh, it's probably gonna paddle like crap but at least it'll be portable and I'll be able to put it into the water in places where I can't necessarily take my roof rack and my hard shell boats. So, uh, but I can tell you that nothing is further from the truth. I can tell you that this boat paddles really, really well. In fact, some of the performance that I've seen from this boat while on the water rivals the hard shell boats that I have. I have a uh, Ocean Kayak Prowler Trident 15, which is, as many of you, you will know, is an incredibly high performing sit on top. I've owned uh, 17 plus foot um, enclosed cockpit touring boats. I've owned several other recreational boats and several other sit on tops as well, including a Scrambler 11, many, many others too. And uh, I gotta tell you, this boat kicks ass. This boat is one of the coolest things I've ever purchased. And I almost didn't buy it because I uh, didn't expect much of it, to be honest with you. But if you are considering purchasing this boat, uh, you will not be disappointed. So uh, let me show you some of the cool things that I did to my boat and uh, you know, you might find them uh, useful too. Alright, here's the way I have my boat set up for fishing. You can see it is pretty, it's a pretty great setup. It's a sweet setup. Um, I've got a couple of extra things obviously. It comes with the aluminum benches uh, that you see underneath the seat there. I have these hard shell uh, high back fishing uh, seats from my aluminum boat that I have that I've put on there. And that thing, it works really, really great. And one of the other things that you're going to notice is the carpet that I put inside here, which really makes the boat bomb proof. I mean, there is no way a hook is going to puncture this carpet now. It, it's just such a great setup, and it was so easy for me to make this. Um, all I did was I uh, went to Lowe's and get a piece of uh, outdoor carpeting and uh, I just took the inflatable floor before it was inflated and I laid it on top. I traced it, I cut it out, and it works beautifully. And you can see here I even have a little hatch that I made so that I can inflate or deflate the floor uh, with the carpet in place because of course you want to put the carpet in place before you inflate the floor. And when you do that it makes a really rigid hard floor. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, you know, if you have a large dog, you don't have to worry about the dog's claws puncturing the floor at all. You don't have to worry about your battery box being on the floor. You know, nothing is going to damage the floor. If you really, really wanted to get crazy and you really wanted to make the boat what I call bomb-proof, you could actually take another layer of that carpet and put it underneath the inflatable floor. So you'd have the inflatable floor sandwiched between two pieces of that industrial carpet, that thing. That way, if you hit a sharp rock uh, and you were somehow able to tear the uh, the black floor, uh, you, you wouldn't puncture the inflated floor above it. So that would be really, really cool. Uh, I might actually do that if I start taking it down rivers. Um, but here's another cool thing that I did is I made a motor mount. <clears throat> and this is very simple, obviously. But uh, I want to tell you something that I just learned by chance. I actually took two pieces of 3 8 inch plywood and I kind of fused them together. Um, and then what I did was I covered the entire thing with Gorilla Tape to make it waterproof. And it worked out beautifully because Gorilla Tape has this natural tacky feel and a surface to it. And when you lay it on top of one of these aluminum benches, let me tell you something, it just wants to grab and hold on to that aluminum bench. It's really it's really hard to slide it once it's on there because of the Gorilla Tape, the rubberized surface of that. Then all I did was I attached a couple of these straps. You can see here on the inside of the, the PVC fabric uh, 
grooves, you know, that the bench sits into. And that thing is just really on there. It's not going to go anywhere. It's really, really attached nicely on there now. And then you can see I've just mounted my uh, trolling motor in a standard way here. And uh, this is um, not a very big trolling motor. It's a 36 pound thrust, but it will just move this boat really, really nicely. And what's nice is this shaft length, I'm not sure what it is, but it seems to be the perfect length for this boat. It might be 36 inches, I'm imagining, but um, when you put this down in the water, you can actually swivel and you don't have to worry about the propeller hitting the boat at all because it's totally underneath the boat. And the only thing you do have to be careful of is when you're lifting the propeller up out of the water, you want to make sure that it's not hitting your boat. You want to make sure it's rotated outwards like this. And make sure that the power's off before you do that as well. So you can see with the seats on there, you know, two people can fish in this boat very, very comfortably. And it is just so versatile. You know, the boat really, really moves well. So if you are looking for a fishing boat that is very lightweight, easy to transport, easy to store, I really think you should check out this boat. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It truly is one of the coolest things I've ever purchased. Hey guys, the first thing I want to do is talk about uh, how the boat comes. You know, the boat will come in a uh, cardboard box. It's all shrink wrapped uh, inside. Um, everything's packaged very professionally. Um, does come with this storage bag for carrying the boat and storing it. All fits nicely in there with room to spare. Um, my boat came with one fin for directional stability. Some of the videos that you'll see on YouTube uh, show that the boat has like uh, four fins, you know, four little fins on the bottom as well. Mine didn't come with that. Um, I was a little concerned about that at first, but the boat handles beautifully with just the one fin. No complaints about that. <clears throat> the fin is going to get chewed up a little bit on rocks. That's just. Uh, the nature of the beast. I take a little bit of fine sandpaper and sand the edges after it's used so it doesn't scratch or tear anything uh, in the bag or anything like that. So <clears throat> no problem there. Uh, talk about how I inflate the boat. Here's the great thing. I have this little battery jumper uh, box which has also uh, outlets on the front. You can see I have a little uh, air pump that I use for like inflatable mattresses and uh, I have a, an extra tube. Um, works great. Gets the boat pumped up to about 90% um, in just a few minutes. And then I use my high pressure hand pump that came with the boat to finish it off. And it gets really, really rock solid. It's a great boat. Um, you can see I have a paddle on the side here. Um, I have one of my high back seats from my uh, Ocean Kayak Prowler that I use in the boat and underneath of it I put a uh, an inflated uh, cushion for extra uh, inflation or not inflation I'm sorry um, buoyancy you know personal flotation um, it also makes it very comfortable and makes you sit a little bit higher in the boat so it's a little easier to paddle the boat is a little beamy compared to uh, a hard shell boat especially a touring boat as you can see that's you know it's just the way it is. Um, if I had any criticisms on the boat at all, it would be that these paddle holders that hold the paddle, you can see they're Velcro straps. Um, a lot of times when you first start paddling the boat, your hand tends to want to hit those while you're paddling. But it's pretty easy to learn how to change your stroke slightly uh, and to avoid that. So I wouldn't say even at this point uh, that it's even a, a criticism. Uh, it is great to be able to put a paddle uh, stored on each side of the boat so you have an extra. Uh, you might want to, if you're going to paddle this boat a lot, you might want to get a slightly longer paddle. That is one thing because of the diameter of the tubes and the boat being a little beamy. If you try to use a very small paddle on this boat, it's not going to work out as well. The really great thing about this boat is that it can be paddled solo or as you can see here, I have it set up for uh, tandem paddling. So uh, It's very, very easy to uh, use this boat by two people or just paddle it solo um, and the boat really does paddle nice um, 
you know, I'm no expert, but I have to assume, you know, with hard shell boats, uh, even though they draft in shallow water, um, you do have the keel lying down in the water. Um, I have to assume this boat paddles so easily because of how buoyant it is, and it just seems to skim right across the top of the water. It's just really, really a, a nice performing boat. Never expected it to paddle as nicely as it does. It tracks really straight, too. Um, after your first couple of paddle strokes, you'll you'll find that you're going in a nice straight line. It tends to want to stay really on course, really nicely. So, uh, nice. Uh, one one other nice thing about this boat is that uh, it actually will hold 700 pounds. So, you have quite a large carrying capacity with this boat. So, just wanted to take a few minutes and uh, post this online review and just let you guys know that if you're considering uh, any of the Saturn boats I believe are outstanding but the uh, FK396 fishing kayak I can't imagine you ever being disappointed with this boat I can't imagine a boat more versatile you know there are other inflatable kayaks on the market uh, a lot of them though you can't paddle tandem um, you know a lot of them just don't have the features that you're going to find on the Saturn boats and a lot of them are quite a bit more expensive. I paid about $620 for this boat on Boats to Go. Uh, service was outstanding. Um, couldn't be happier. So hope this uh, info helped you out and uh, hope to see you on the water.